Welcome to Counting Frames with Shenless. Today, we're looking at Fujin's back one stagger. What I did here was record his move, and I have it up here on my editor, which scrolls at 60 frames per second, the same speed that the game runs at. While this method is not 100% accurate for the purpose of this video, it's close enough. Let me show you how it works. This is the first frame of his back one. We know that Fujin's back one has 13 frames of startup. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And as you can see here on frame 13, his sword connects with Sub-Zero's guard. So what we're gonna do next is identify the first frame that you can actually tell Fujin is staggering his back one and not continuing the string. Uh, this is important because you can press here, but that would be a read, not a reaction. I'm not gonna talk about if you can tell from his backswing if he's staggering or not. Let's be realistic. Okay, so here he's putting the sword back in his scabbard and you can tell he's staggering back one. So now what we're gonna do is uh, I have the AI set to jump as soon as it's done recovering. As you can see here, I'm already holding up. Okay, so we're gonna count from this frame uh, to the moment his feet leave the ground to see how many frames you actually have uh, to haul out this stagger. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And his feet begin to leave the ground on frame 23. Okay, so I'm not gonna sit here and tell you it's easy. I'm not even gonna tell you that it's plausible. I just wanted to make sure the frame data was out there so you could see it and decide for yourself. Again, this was Counting Frames with Shenless. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more moves broken down like this, please let me know and I'll see what I can do.